Hi everybody. Okay, if you've noticed by now, I have changed the name of the vlog. Originally it was just embroidery vlog, but because I also do sewing and quilting, I wanted to include those along with the embroidery. So the new name of my vlog is Embroidery, Sewing, and Quilting. Okay, so if you hadn't noticed, it's all right. If you did notice, that's the reason why. Okay. Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great day today. So what I wanted to go over with are the machines that I own, okay, and that I will be using throughout my vlogs that I do, all right? This first little machine is my baby, okay? This is a machine that I purchased at a show so that I could travel with, all right, and take up north to visit my parents or go to classes. It is lightweight. Um, I always use two hands when I pick up a machine, okay, so it's not that bad. And once you put it in a rolling case, you're, you're off to those races, all right? Now... This machine is a sewing and embroidery machine, combo machine. What I really like on the sewing side, all right, is, and this is going to move here. I'm going to go back one. Sideways sewing, okay? So if I need to put a quilt label on, I am able to do sideways sewing where I don't have to twist that quilt all the way through the machine. That is a plus, okay? Um, this is a heavy duty machine. I did a jelly roll quilt on it and it went right through it, all right? It comes with, obviously, your foot pedal. You also have your table that you can attach to sew with and inside of there we have feet, uh, needles that are there. Um, you do get a lot of supplies. I just stuck them in a little case. Comes with extra bobbin case, scissors. What I really like too is the fact that I can use drop-in bobbins. All right. Um, I have a lot of drop-in bobbins from my previous machine, pre-wound bobbins, and it's great. It's great when you can just stick it in there and go. You don't even have to wind the bobbin, okay? Um, the machine actually comes with two hoops, okay? You've got, this is the 10 and a quarter by six, and this is a five by seven, all right? Big hoops that come with this little machine. Um, you can also purchase the four by four, or what I really like is the six by six, okay? Really good machine, and you're not limited to your designs because of hoop size, okay? A lot of the smaller machines, you are limited because you can only do four by four. So if you're looking for um, a sewing and embroidery combo machine, I highly recommend this one. I really like it. Goes takes USB, so you are able to bring in your designs and, whoops, I just wanna put my embroidery unit back on. Um, I seem to be using this machine a lot, okay? Really easy to put together. And you always put the embroidery section on when it's off. You don't do it when it's on. But this is actually a really nice little machine. Embroiders beautifully, sews beautifully. You have a lot of stitches on this machine, plus that sideways sewing. Okay, um, manual, you get a manual with it. It's got Disney designs on it. Um, really nice. 
I've been using it a lot for embroidery, but I've also used it a ton for sewing. So this machine is, I just call it my little baby, okay? Um, it's one of the machines that I use. And I always, if I do any embroidery, I make sure that my machines are on a mat. It really helps with vibration. Um, the table that I have, it is a very sturdy table. My son made it for me. So it's very, very sturdy, but it really helps if you use, even if you're sewing, to put your sewing machine on a mat. And you can order these mats from different places. So, all right, I'm gonna set up for the next one and I'll show you my next machine. Okay, this is my Bernina 770, all right? Workhorse, just like the other ones. Um, I've had this one for, I don't know, five, six years now, I think. Um, I also had the embroidery unit with this one. The problem was that you can't embroider and sew at the same time, okay? And I was running into that issue. So I, that's another reason why I got um, the little baby over there so that I could do embroidery and continue to sew on this one. Um, I do have the multi-spool rack and, of course, the Barbie box, but this one stays put. And you will find, you know, if you start off with a small machine and you say, oh, let me get a bigger machine, the bigger the machine you get, the harder it is to move around. So this one stays put and it's always ready to go. I've not had any issues with it. Um, it does have a bigger bobbin than most of the machines. Um, this is the bobbin for it, okay? So you can't put pre-wound bobbins in or anything like that, but I've never had an issue with winding one of these bobbins. Works great, okay? So this is my second machine, so... Let's head over to the other side and we'll look at the last machine or second to last machine. Hi everybody. All right. So this is the last machine or no second to last machine. Okay. This is the brother luminaire. Now, I feel like I'm really short in this chair, so I'm going to sit up. I'm going to it up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I've had this for approximately a year. I actually got it last year around this time. Um, my son and my husband walked in the door with it. We had, I talked about getting it, but I was going to wait because I knew that they were probably going to come out with a new machine. I wanted to see what it was, and they got a great deal on it, so they brought it home. And I didn't know about it till they walked in the house, and I just freaked out, like, "Oh my gosh, are you freaking kidding me?" You know. So they brought it home. So um, this machine is also a combo machine, so you can embroider and do sewing on the machine. Obviously, not at the same time. It does take pre-wound bobbins, so I, I'm just in love with pre-wound bobbins, <laughs> all right? Um, you can also, if you're not embroidering on the machine, um, you can, we'll come to home. If your embroidery unit is attached, you can go ahead and I'll hit the sewing one, and it will move that embroidery unit out of the way so that now you've got this flat bed that you can go ahead and sew. And it also has the sideways, sideways stitch on it too. Now this one comes with four frames. You get the four by four, five by seven, nine and a half by nine and a half, which I think is probably be my favorite frame. And then a 16 by 10, okay, which is 
really large frame. Okay. Um, so this is awesome. All right. Um, I've done a lot of sewing on this also, and I've also done a ton of embroidery on it lately. So I really like this machine. <coughs> um, it really easy. The, the screen is very intuitive. Home button takes you right back to this one so that you can decide where do I want to go. Um, go into embroidery. It will move the hoop back just like that. So you can go ahead and start embroidery. Um, yes, this also has Disney designs on it, but it's got lettering and frames and even in your sewing, which my thing is gonna get a workout showing you all this, um, tons of stitches and you have decorative stitches also, okay? So those are all my machines, okay? Um, sewing and embroidery machines. And next up, I'm gonna take you over to where I have my long arm machine, okay? All right, last but not least is my long arm quilting machine. This is an Inova 26 inch um, quilting machine with Panavision T2. It allows me to do Panavisions or Panagraphs from the front of the machine. I've had this since 2012 is when I got it and I do all the quilting for my quilts on this machine. Heavy duty. Um, I am getting ready to just start doing free motion quilting and using templates so um, it'll be interesting to see what I can come up with. Okay. All right. So that is all my machines. Okay. And, you know, we are all creative and we all have different machines for the crafts that we do. Okay. So in the comments, tell me what your favorite machine is. Okay, and let me know how many machines that you have. All right. Okay, so if you could please like this video and share it or, you know, hit that subscribe button and notification button so that you'll be notified for the next vlog that comes out. Okay, and as always, embroiderers, sewers, and quilters, I hope you have a great day stitching. Thanks.